Boom! 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 It's peanut butter and jelly time! Peanut butter and jelly time! Peanut butter and jelly time! Where are you? Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, so I'm back to work tomorrow, but actually I'll be going in a job interview a little bit later, so I'll take you guys along for that. Um, kids are having breakfast. We're having coffee. Uh, Lauren's got to run to her doctor, and after that we get to spend the whole day together. Finally. Caleb, Caleb, what's a goat say? Bah. No, what's a goat say? Gross, dude, I saw that. What's that say? That's gross. No. Good job. <laughs> Hi. What's an owl say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's a wolf say? What's a cow say? No. What's a horsey say? Nay, nay. No horse. What's a chicken say? Cheep, cheep, cheep. What's a doggy say? Oh, oh, oh. What's a kitty say? Meow, meow. What does Micah say? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, you do say that quite often. What's a trick say? <laughs> What's a trick say? What's a train say? Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Good girl. I love the train. We love the train. I love train. You love trains. I love train. <laughs> Anyone out there who is as big of a fan as we are, we have a Game of Thrones corner in our house where we've got all the seasons and we got this awesome poster. Alright, so Lauren just left for her doctor's appointment. Uh, she goes every two weeks to a chiropractor for her back and her knees. So she just went to go do that. We're winding down. Everyone's done with breakfast. And somebody Mom, looks tired. I'm a Are you a doll? <laughs> mm. So while I take care of these little dolls here, um, I'm trying to figure out what time my interview is at today, trying to get some stuff taken care of on some other fronts. So I'm going to have some information coming up for you guys in a little while here. Um, it's only about 9.30 in the morning, so I've still got plenty of time left in my day. Um, I'm going to warp forward a little bit here, and uh, we'll talk in like two seconds. Two seconds, I promise. Be right back. Guys, it is always a strange day when you have to break into your own house because your kids lock you out. Didn't you? I don't think they did it on purpose. I went to take the trash out and I went to go open the door when I came back and it's locked. So I had to break into my own house. Lots of fun, lots of fun. All right everyone, so I'm actually about to be on my way to my first job interview in quite some time, in almost a year. So hopefully it goes well. Um, it's going to be for, for customer service at this local company, so yeah, let's hope it goes well and so you can try to better the family one step closer. 
So, just got back from a job interview. I think it went really well. Uh, but it took two hours. It was a two hour long interview. But when you get to come home to this little crazy and this little crazy, it makes it all worth it. I know you're recording. Stop. Weirdo. Why? Because I'm putting my face on. I know. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I see you, car. <laughs> I see you, car. Stop! <laughs> Alright, we're on the way to take the kids back home for the weekend, unfortunately. My son fell asleep in the back seat. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I don't get them on the weekend because that's when I work. I get them on my days off, so hopefully um, that new job will work out. Maybe some good things will come my way. Yeah. Lauren did her makeup. I did. The purple lips. Yep. Always, always the good colors. Always the good colors. Micah, you look like you're ready to fall asleep, honey. Oh, butter. Uh... Wake up, butter. Uh... Wake up. Wake up, where are mamas? Wake up! Wake up! He is passed out. Check on the little girl. She passed out too. Micah, wake up! Micah, where are mamas? Wake up! Okay, they're out. Alright, so we're walking forward a little bit here. We dropped off the kids and uh, we, found, we found Lauren's mom out at a restaurant. We passed by her car and happened to see it. So we went and said hi for a little while. We don't get to see her much, so that was nice. Uh, now we're just gonna warp out to the store, uh, grab a couple things, go home and have a good night. Bedtime favorites. Bedtime favorites. What's in this? What's in these shenanigans? I don't know. All Disney stuff. Yeah, they like their Disney. So we were just discussing how I don't feel like there's enough books in stores anymore. I think it's because every everyone wants instant gratification. Everyone Googles all the information they need. I or, do. Or watches movies. Yeah, but it's nice to read a book sometimes to learn something. I mean, you could even, you know, kindle something. I don't know, just read a book. Change your perspective. Don't just, I don't know, don't just Google everything. It's, it's good to read. It keeps your mind going. Well, I found my favorite section. Conjuring. Horror movies, always. Conjuring? Yeah, that's what I was I probably thinking. have it here. It's probably just not no, over here. That's what I was trying to think of was Conjuring. I still I haven't that seen really it. Weird. Still haven't seen it. I don't know if they want to. <laughs> Why? Because it involves like, children. Well, I know it involves like children possession and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be good. I wanted to see it, I just haven't yet. I guess it's supposed to be like the beginning part of uh, the Amity Horror. Oh. It's supposed to be like that. Comes into effect. Well, then why aren't we watching this? Why aren't we getting it? <laughs> You already have Sinister. This is Sinister 2. I know I have that one too, but I'm just saying it's good. I'm just showing the good people. Anyone else out there just get really, really excited when it's time for Halloween. Whenever I start seeing all the decorations and movies and all that come out, I get so excited. And we have Halloween Express store right by our house, and that's like, I'll just go there and shop for everything. Not even just for costumes, just for house decorations. <laughs> love Halloween. My birthday is in October too, so maybe that has something to do with that. I don't know. I just, I love fall weather altogether. I don't think they have it either. I know. You think of all places, Walmart would have all the movies, but I guess not. This is cool. Where was this when we were kids? I can never take her through the art aisles without stopping like 10 times. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Hey, if you want to get some for our whiteboard, 
I know we have too many markers, but they're all skinny tip. Yeah. I need that they're fat tip. It's a little unnecessary, but it's cool. It's like a light bulb with paper clips. What? Explain yourself for what? Explain yourself, Walmart. Just trying to find some boys clothes and all I'm seeing is little girl clothes. Yeah, where are the little boys clothes? It's still really small. I mean, yeah, there's some over here, but that's like baby boys. Caleb isn't a baby. No. Caleb doesn't have enough clothes. My daughter has garbage bags full. But we need to get my son more clothes, big time. Maybe that's because my niece is that hand down clothes. This Walmart literally has like no boys clothes. There's like this, there's like this rack, this rack, and some of this. Apparently this is all there is to worry about in the world anymore. Celebrity boob jobs. Get real, get a life. Typical Walmart trip. Don't look so enthused, Lauren. So we went into Walmart for zip ties, pantyhose, and batteries, and walked out with chips, <laughs> soda, and a ton of clothes for my son. Typical Walmart. They just bait you in. They're like, hey, we've got everything you need. Plus, you're going to walk out with so much more than you actually came in for. That's, I think I'm worse at Target, though. I feel like I, I, go, everyone's worse at Target. I feel like I go into Target just looking for a really cheap pair of shoes or something, and I walk out with like a whole new wardrobe, plus some movies, an iPad, a TV. We almost you walked know? out with a movie. Yeah, but we couldn't find it. Some stuff happened here while we were in in Walmart. In the closets up? of Narnia Walmart. What's he shoveling up? Is that probably what glass? Let's let's figure this out and not get hit. What is that? What is that? Ooh, it's me. Accident. No, it was a big accident. We were just discussing. Anybody else out there ever eat Dorito or no Cheetos? Flaming hot, hot Cheetos. Flaming Hot Cheetos. And cream cheese. And cream cheese. And I was saying Flaming Hot Cheetos and strawberry cream cheese. I don't know. I don't it know. About that. It is literally one of those things you can't knock until you try. Like it is not it is not even bad. This is illegal, but I really don't care. All the cops are back there at the accident scene. Right. But Flaming Hot Cheetos and Strawberry Cream Cheese. It is really something you can't say no to until you actually try it. I did. You tried the strawberry cream cheese? No, I just tried the regular cream cheese. And what did you think? It was pretty good. See, it's it's weird, right? That two is really things strange. You, two things you think really shouldn't go together and then they're just like a match made in heaven. And normally I don't even like flaming Hot Cheetos. And then you they're just good. add the cream cheese and it's just creamy, cheesy, hot mm. goodness. <laughs> Wow, that was quite the explanation there. That oh, was good. Wow. good. Like a creamy, cheesy, hot goodness. That was literally flaming hot Cheetos and cream cheese. Just in a nutshell. Dumbed down. Just kind of dumbed down a little bit. Exactly. All right, guys. So hope you had a fun time coming along with us. I know it wasn't much, but I'm working on something for you guys right now. A good project. So that'll be coming up soon. A lot of good things coming up. So. Thanks you guys for sticking with us. You take care. Have a good night. Night.